Hi, my name is Steve Wischke. I'm the Senior Service Engineer for Modine Manufacturing. Today we're going to cover the techniques to troubleshoot a compressor. To check the compressor windings, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure there's no power applied to the unit. Power would be coming in from L1 and L2. I've already checked to see that there's no voltage and the disconnect is disengaged. So we're good to go to check the compressor windings, making sure that you have the proper arc flash equipment is a good idea whenever you have your hands inside an electrical box. The first thing you want to do is disconnect the compressor module power harness, put it aside so that you can see the exposed pins on the compressor. As you can see, there are three pins here. The top one is common, the one on the right is start, the start winding, and the one on the left here towards the bottom is your run. You'll want to put your meter on the lowest ohm setting and check the resistance between the common and the start winding. It should be between 1 and 3 ohms. As we can see on the meter, we're looking at about 2 ohms, so that one's good. Make sure you have good contact there. We can check between common and run. Make sure that is between one and three ohms. That is good as well. So the windings themselves are good. There is also a possibility that one of the windings is shorted to ground. So what we'll want to do is check between the winding and ground. You can see that there's a connection going to ground so the entire compressor casing is grounded. So we can simply just test between the compressor chassis and each winding that is open, which is good, meaning there's no short to ground. Check the start winding as well. That also is open, meaning it's not shorted to ground. For further information, you can go to www.modinehvac.com.